Hey, this is Sue Uyuela, and today we're going to be talking about the top three niches to serve in your Airbnb business. Now that it's September 2020, things have shifted, and so we can pivot accordingly. And I have some good news for you, because the other day I was talking to one of my students, Barbara Bookout. So let me tell you a little bit about Barbara. First of all, she and I go way back. She's been my student for over four years now, and she's been managing her own apartments in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So that's the serviced apartments model. If you're a landlord, Lord and you have a lot of properties that you own and you want to make more money with them and you know that Airbnb allows you to make double or triple the income that you would from long-term tenants and you don't have to worry about eviction headaches, then you would want to be looking at doing Airbnb and then you would have the option of either managing it yourself or hiring a professional host to take care of those for you. So. Barbara chose the service department's approach, and she's managing her apartments herself, and she's done so well. She's been a super host. I can't even count how many times, you know, year over year, and she's gotten to the point where she was ready to sell her business, actually, right before all of this happened. So she had already put her apartments up for sale, and then everything shifted, and she wasn't able to sell the property right away. So... The awesome thing is that she was perfectly positioned to ride out this storm because I know for so many landlords, they are in a situation where they have long-term tenants and the government has told their tenants, it's okay, you don't have to pay your rent because you can't be evicted, which if you think about it from the landlord standpoint, you know, that puts them in a very difficult position now because they still have to pay the mortgage or, you know, they can do forbearance, but that just puts off having to pay the mortgage and then eventually that's going to expire as well. And if they have no rental income to pay it, they're going to be in hot water too. So caught between a rock and a hard place with this rent relief thing. However, because Barbara was already doing vacation rentals with Airbnb, she made a simple pivot to midterm tenants that allowed her to avoid all the rent relief problems and continue to get steady, higher than usual income from her, her rentals. And meanwhile, she still has her property on the market so that if any moment a buyer comes through, she's in a perfect position to go ahead and sell the property and move on with her retirement plans. So I just wanted to share her story with you guys today because this is her secret sauce. Why is Barbara positioned so perfectly to ride out this storm? Well, because she has tapped into three distinct niches. So people aren't necessarily looking for short-term vacations any longer. They used to be three to seven days, and now we're looking at more like two weeks to three months time frames. So it's more of a offering a temporary lodging solution to people. And these are the types of niches that you can serve now if you have an empty rental property. So Barbara's been doing really well by serving these three different niches. First of all, contract workers. There are many of large corporations in her area and they are hiring people as consultants that they'll need to come into town for a short period of time while they help that business get set up and put their systems in place, et cetera, et cetera. And she's also positioned in a unique position, let me explain. She is near downtown Grand Rapids, which most people have been saying, oh, if you have an Airbnb close to a city center right now, that's not doing well. The uh, theory is people are trying to flee the city and get to the, the wide open spaces. But that's the good news because Barbara is actually right next to the city center and she's doing really well with this because that's where a lot of the big companies are located. And not only that, she is located next to several hospitals, which as you can imagine would be a very popular niche right now. So in addition to the contract workers, she's also serving traveling nurses. And traveling nurses have been around for a long time, and it's a thing. You know, if you're a nurse, you can become a traveling nurse and move from hospital to hospital for a few months at a time. And in my experience and Barbara's, traveling nurses are the best guests you would ever want. I mean, they're very responsible. 
they're hardly home and they pay really well and so I mean all the traveling nurses we've ever met I've just fallen in love with and you know Barbara has had nothing but great experiences with that as well and so now with COVID you know a lot of traveling nurses are coming into town to help with the increased demand sometimes they're even asked to extend their stay and so they continue to be a really good tenant to have now that also attracts other doctors and other people who are uh, what I guess you would term essential workers who are on the front lines um, a lot of people who um, shouldn't be going home after work because they're afraid of you know taking it back to their family so if they have a private rental that is super cleaned according to the new standards it can be safe for everyone and don't worry as a host this doesn't jeopardize you either because hopefully you're implementing the new standards that Airbnb has recommended where you at least wait 24 hours after the guest leaves and when you go in to clean you're wearing your PPE to protect yourself and at that point of course there's very little chance of any kind of cross-contamination so again this is a fantastic niche to serve and the other niche that she's found quite a lot of success in is helping people who are moving to the area. And what I suggest is when you screen these guests, you want to ask them a couple of questions. So they're going to be saying, hi, I'm coming to your area, I need a temporary place to stay. And they should also be saying, I either have a permanent place that I'm going to be moving into, you know, they've already secured their long-term rental or their property that they're buying and they should have a move-in date or if they don't and they're just moving to the area and they're going to need a place to stay while they look for some place to live then they should also have a job or a steady source of income in place so if you have either one of those combinations this is a great niche to serve okay so these are the top three niches that you can pivot and serve now and this is great news for landlords who are sitting with empty rentals and just saying, I don't see the point of putting a long-term tenant in there, especially if the government says they don't have to pay me rent. How does that make any sense, right? Well, now you can serve the midterm and temporary lodging niches and make a lot of money right now without having to wait and without having to worry about rent relief. And also just wanted to share a little glimmer of hope. I. Uh, I get, I'm subscribed to something called Beyond Brief, and they're keeping their thumb on the pulse of the vacation rental market. And so in their report this week, it came to my email box, and it was the report for the week of September 14 to 18. And they reported that uh, similar to what we have seen the past few weeks, booking pace has remained steady for most markets in the United States, moving through Labor Day weekend and out of summer because traditionally vacation rentals were popular during vacation times right in summer but now because things are shifting because there are so many people who are working remotely and because of distance learning the dates aren't so fixed like they used to be but now it's continuing because it's not so strict and people are able to continue to live and work from home and so now they're also discovering that because they're remote, home isn't a fixed place anymore. And they're looking at where would I like to live and enjoy at the same time. So that is good news for the US market in particular. So we're seeing an extended period of vacationing going on that may turn into a lifestyle hopefully, which would be great news for all of us folks who are doing Airbnb. And I'm not calling it vacation rentals anymore. I'm calling it the temporary lodging market. So if you can tap into that, you are going to do really, really well by catching this wave and just riding it.